Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Andrea. We are in my basement right now. This is my dad. He has done a series of upgrades on my HVAC system, which has made me the envy of my neighbors because it is the winter time right now and my neighbors have told me that they cannot put a guest room in their basement because it just gets way too cold. They cannot regulate the temperature to make guests comfortable downstairs. And so I was just gonna have my dad explain what he did to our existing HVAC system to make it possible to get more heat into our basement in the winter time. Or a so. huge project that, that most people do is finish off that rec room in the basement, mm -hmm. a TV room, you know, a, a theater room. I guarantee this will never be your favorite place to watch the football game. Yeah. If everybody's cold, right. and 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 I've been in homes where you've got blankets and comforters, and where you've experienced in my house. Yeah. The, the we can make we can make the lower level the warmest place mm -hmm. in the house. We mm -hmm. can make it the warmest place in the house. We have this. I can uh, testify that this is a comfortable place to stay, <laughs> and and really we've done the very minimal uh, as far as getting air downstairs because we're somewhat limited with our duct system. We're pretty much tied to your lower level basement and your first floor are all basically on the same duct system. Anything is possible, we could separate it, but it just it isn't feasible. So we've, we've kept those two levels the same. However, we've been able to segregate the second floor, the very upper floor of, of the house is on its own thermostat. In this house, we have two zones, your first floor and your upper floors. The basement is tied to that first floor and it goes to a zoning panel. We have a zoning panel here that gathers feedback from the thermostat up in the living room to the thermostat that's up in the uh, master bedroom. And so when we call for heat on the first floor, we're actually heating the basement, but through controlling the dampers, adjusting the dampers, and we've closed a lot of the dampers off upstairs on the first floor so we can get more air downstairs it really is we found a pretty good medium you mm -hmm. know bet between the two of them. the really great thing that what really helps is the second floor does not need any heat right and so we're able to shut that duct off and divert that air downstairs here that's the most important thing that we're not you're not trying to heat three levels right if you want more heat down here then you just call for heat down here and it's not going upstairs making us all hot. Right. So you can keep this on longer than what we need upstairs. Right. A lot of times people, if they don't do that, you know, here they've maybe cranked up the, the furnace so they can watch the the big game on the TV downstairs. But right. when the game's over, they go it's upstairs and it's hot. Yeah. It's hot upstairs, you know. We shut that off, we segregate that, that part of it off and and it's working well. It's right. working very well. This space down here is very comfortable, you mm -hmm. know, so it, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to hear that your neighbors can't use it. Yeah, no, It's unusable. So. Yeah, not for, not for guests. Okay, yep. cool. Thanks, Dan. Very good.